uh, Leslie Hunter, uh, John Ferguson, uh, Francis Cadell, and um, Samuel John Peplow. And uh, so it was, uh, I had a choice of four to, uh, to, to work with, and I chose Peplow, mainly because I've, I've uh, had a look at his work before, and I do like it. And, uh, you know, so, so what I'll be doing today is, is um, sort of uh, my attempt, at least, of uh, a Peplow-type painting. But when you're talking about uh, the Scottish colourists, I mean, reading about them and looking at their work, you're mostly really talking about French Impressionism. Uh, they were very taken by that. For example, Peplow himself uh, was a big fan of uh, Franz Hals. Um, yeah, Franz Hals, Dutch painter. And his palette was very dark and very kind of monochromatic uh, in the earlier on in his career. But he ended up painting more like sort of Matisse and... Uh, um, you know, Monet, Gauguin, that kind of thing. So really, that's what we're talking about. Uh, it's uh, it's Impressionism, and they brought all that colour and uh, vivacity, and, uh, kind of brave painting primary colours back to Scotland, which is probably not noted for its sort of, uh, you know, sun-soaked colours, like Ireland, really. The, um, one of the words used at the time about their work was garish. So... Uh, you know, that was in those days and they were probably used to more academic painting and uh, they were a bit uh, taken aback by the, uh, by the strong use of colour and unfinished type paintings. Uh, the, the, Impressionists, the Impressionists in France had the same thing, didn't they? You know, with the uh, um, was it, uh, Salon des de Refusés and all, all that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be painting. So soak that in. Putting out the canvas and teacher. Um, if I can find it. Is that it there? Yeah, so it's on a bit of a slideshow. Here we've got work of uh, uh, Peplo, and this is what he kind of more or less ended up painting like. Uh, and this is another a good example too. Um, and we're, in a moment we'll get a self-portrait in the, yeah, see those dark sort of almost uh, uh, sergeant type uh, uh, palette that he used there. Based on this is another one here. So that's what he changed from. I mean, it's, it's very lovely uh, paintings, uh, but uh, this is what's shocked the, the, the Scottish establishment. You wouldn't think something like that would be shocking, would you? But uh, anyway, so, uh, you'll have to sort of um, keep that in mind because uh, you probably won't see it after this. Uh, you'll just see my painting. So, and talk about the palette for a, a moment. So here, uh, I'm going to be using. Uh, well, well, that's actually mixing white. I don't want that. I can't stand mixing white. Uh, titanium white, okay. Uh, I'm going to use a, a, a more extended palette than I normally use. So uh, cadmium yellow light hue and cadmium yellow medium, okay. Uh, I'm going to have two reds. So I'm going to have my cool red, which is the uh, permanent crimson lake. It's very much like a lizard in crimson. And cadmium uh, red medium. French ultramarine is going to be my blue and I'm going to put a green. I'm going to use Viridian uh, uh, on my palette too. I think I'm ready to go there then. Okay, well let's, let's lay these out then. Let me see. So let's put this one down here. Self Plenty of paint. I'll put my yellow out there. I'm not using an earth. Uh, yeah, I'm not using yellow ochre. I want the thing to be uh, painting to be bright. So a yellow, a bit of warm yellow. Now my reds. Let's start out with the warm. It's coming out like a big sausage. That one. Okay, maybe I'll give myself more of that. The cool red. I haven't used this in so long, so the lid is hard to get off. Here's my cool red. My lizard and crimson. Now my my blue. Ultramarine. 
and my viridian. Yeah, there you can see them all there. I'll keep them all beside me so that I can see what's going on. Let me grab my brush. These are the brushes I'm going to use. In fact, I use that one just to put on the, uh, the wash. Uh, and, and there's my solvent. I'm using Zestit, by the way. It's a studio safe solvent. And if I go to my canvas now, you can see the, uh, um, uh, the palette there in the corner. So let's start then. I'm going to start by making uh, a bit of a, just a bit of a, a dark blue and um, burnt sienna. I've got a bit of burnt sienna on the palette too. Yeah. Just so that I can do a, do a drawing. Okay, so uh, one of the features of the Scottish colorists was the, uh, was these very gestural uh, kind of strokes. I don't, don't want to do too much, too much of a, a finely wrought drawing. I just wanted a, and the flowers coming up here like this, going up into the corner there. Down, apple. I'm going to move those apples down a little bit just for um, composition's sake. Okay, and then another one a little bit further down there, like that. There's a, a vase. The photographer set everything at the same kind of height, which is a shame, really. Could have been a more interesting composition. Apples, so let's put a bit of a up there. The flowers start here, there, small flower there, flowers. The flower head down here. Push that over a little bit. There's an apple in the center there. Apple there. Green apple, and then another red apple there. Apple there, and then you can see a couple of apples hiding there behind the other, the other two. Okay, center of the apple there, center there. Shadow there, shadow there, table, and that area there is sort of with those window frames behind it. Make sure there's plenty of foliage there, and then there's another flower head here. Okay, and then the table comes out. I'm going to make the table come out a bit more. I think it, it, it kind of needs it. We can come out to the edge there like that. And then there's something else behind there, which is, oh, I don't know what it is actually, but must be another bit of table or something like that. that that's my drawing, I think. There, up there. There. Okay, so just to remind you of the, the drawing again, there we go.
Okay, so do you remember that's what uh, what I'm painting? Back to the canvas. Okay. So what I'm going to do first of all, mix up some uh, some deep red. So cadmium red plus a little bit of alizarin would give me a very vibrant red. Okay, so back to the canvas. Okay, so red there, red there, red there. That um, apple's red there, that one's red there, and this one's red on that side. That's a dark in there. Okay. And let's do put in some of these flowers. Okay, and here we go, up there. You get a very beautiful, rich uh, uh, red by mixing cadmium and uh, alizarin together. It really does amp up the red. when you're doing your illustrations of Santa next Christmas. You'll know what to do. Now, there's a, a kind of a pattern around here, around here, which is like that, up there, there, come up there like that, and then down, that's red too. Okay, now we can move on. I'm going to put the supporting foliage uh, under those flowers. So I'm going to use my viridian. Viridian uh, in yellow, maybe, and a bit of hmm, a bit of blue in one side. Just a touch of white in them. Maybe here, like that. And maybe a little bit under here. Add some more yellow to, and a touch of red to make it more natural for foliage here, up there. So there, and in the apples here as well, I'm just going to put those in so I don't forget where they are. Yeah, and, uh, oh, It was an apple that was here, in fact, that I actually missed out on. Put that up a little bit there. Okay. And that's a green apple there, that one. It's worth using sort of plenty of paint as well. So there. Now let's get in a, some a couple of reds that uh, need to go in. There's a rim on that uh, that lovely bowl. We'll put that in. And also, I forgot the red there. Now, the surface that that is all sitting on is a pink. So I'm going to make a, make a pink out of white plus the, the two reds. Let's see how that goes. Am I? Yeah. I'm going to make it a, a, a nice warm pink, a bit more white. Paint that there, up around there. I can miss out 
don't have to paint absolutely every uh, square inch of the, the surface. They're quite immediate uh, painters, they were impressionists. So. Okay, now up behind all of that is essentially a, a kind of a very light green. So I'm going to actually grab my light green, a bit more viridian, more yellow, more white. I might sort of push it towards the yellow a little bit. and shape all of that around. Make, make it more yellow as it goes off to the right. And then down here too. Then it goes quite yellow indeed there. You can come there like that. Okay, and then behind the whole thing, it's a very light tone here and also here too. comes across there like that. All described very quickly. Now there's a, a kind of a an orange just that comes along here. So I'm just going to put that in just for variety's sake. Go in here. It's probably a curtain or something like that. And then that bright green of the bowl. And I'm going to put that into Yeah, come up around there, and we got that there. A bit of a shape to that glaze. I mean, it's, it's a very modern, modern sort of uh, uh, scheme to that uh, that bowl, uh, and then there's green apple there. Okay. Now there's that vase, the other vase, which is a very kind of light, warm pink, almost an orange. I'm just going to put that in there, like that, comes down there. Now a little bit of uh, shape on those apples, I'm going to add a little bit of blue, that apple there. And hopefully this will make, start making them a bit more three-dimensional. So I always think of uh, Cezanne when I, I paint apples. He said, I will amaze Paris with an apple. And then he fled <laughs> back to uh, the south of France for a while. His confidence left him. Put that there like that. Now, my... Shadow's been cast by uh, these objects. Hang on, let me just push that back to make. Um, now, what was I doing? Oh, yes, yeah, so a little bit more white there, I think. There, no, not white, but uh, very, very pale green. In there, there. Flowers, the flowers. I'm just going to make a dark with more alizarin than um, than cadmium, and that'll give me a, a, a reasonably darker red. Okay. 
and I'm just going to sort of establish the shapes of some of these flowers. There's, uh, in there, they're darker. It's a bit darker up there. And this flower is quite a lot darker there. Now, I'm going to change my brush to a slightly smaller brush. Okay, so now I'm going to um, put, some, put some darks in. So I'm going to use blue. Mix it in with the green to get a kind of a dark here. There. There's a dark in there. There's a dark to establish the shape of that apple. That there is actually quite a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, alizarin in that. We'll put that down there like that. That's dark in there. Dark across here. Up. Okay, and then there's this apple here, which is dark there. And as it comes towards the light, this apple here is dark at the back. That is dark there. Uh, let's have a look in there. So, well, let's stick with the apples for the moment. So, strong strokes, not... Um, I'm not tickling the, the, the strokes in after they've been sort of applied. It's got to look cause it's kind of dynamic and that's in the, in the brushwork, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like that. What can I do now? There's some pink, red, pink, um, work on that uh, there's a pattern on that that jug there I'm not going to over describe it like that bit there there's a bluish part of the pattern going up there I'm not sure what it is and then obviously that pink surface which is all sitting on is being reflected up into that vase and there too. I might actually sort of extend that uh, pattern out there a little bit more. Connect that with the flower. I want to go back to my pink surface which everything is sitting on, that's there like that. Here there's plenty of light coming in. Strong, bold strokes. You let your brushwork be seen. Yeah. That can come there like that. Sculpt that a little bit. I've extended that table upwards, so there's okay. I want to work in a little light blue here. And maybe here too. I have that apple poking out there, extending into that that green area there, and that can have some light blue too. Uh, 
Um, darks I've missed. Yeah, some darks down here. I think put that in there. Dark there. There's a dark here. Now there are some pinks which are very much like the pinks uh, that the whole composition is sitting on, but they're in the apples. So there's one there. There's one there. Where else you can see one in, in the apple here. There. That is obviously reflecting the uh, the surface, the tablecloth, and um, there are some reflections of the pink in here, which is obviously being picked up from down below here. So I need I need some more description down here. I can go there like that. There's a light down the left-hand side of the bowl, so I'm going to make that a very, very light green, I think. So a bit of viridian, a bit of white, and some cadmium yellow medium. And this one goes down there like that. Um, anywhere else? In fact, it's, it's here too. Okay. And also, it's across the top of this apple, because it's a very... Cool part of that apple, and then here. Now, those are more yellow, so I'm going to put a bit more yellow into that. To that green, and yeah, that's better. There. That can go across there like that. This goes lighter as it gets to the top. No green in that apple. There's some green in here. It is a very green composition. Green and pink. It's okay. Now, pink's in some of those flowers too. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna make them a warm pink, I think, to begin with. So Cadmium red, medium plus white. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I'm going to put that across there like that. There. Down here like that. And mm -hmm. there. I can see some other hues in the. Uh, the flowers too. I'll address later. There. That part. Right. Okay. So we've got that. Um, there's some pinks here that I missed in that apple there. Comes around there like that. Uh, that there, I want that to fill in there, that apple there. Now, there's some cool lights coming in over the top of those apples, and I want to do them now. So white plus uh, blue plus uh, alizarin crimson. Give me a kind of a violet colour. You can see it on quite a lot of uh, of what is there. A strong sort of outside light coming in there. Coming across the top of that there. Even in that flower. Uh, what else here? Yes, definitely in this apple here. Across the top of that there. Uh, where else do I see it? It's slightly redder, so slightly more crimsony sort of. 
on these flowers here. Just a little few strokes in there. Okay, so now I want to put in a bit of nuance in the in the ceramic bowl. Just over this side, it's it's reflecting cool. So I'm going to put that there, cool green. Okay. Where else do I see things? Yes, I want to go back to my my light blue and shape that there. Um, have it come into there. I'm mixing it with the uh, with that yellow there. It's quite nice to to do that. I think. That kind of works. Maybe I could put a line down there. Um, push that across there. I need to actually put a light in underneath the bowl. And it's very bright, actually. So I'm going to go brighter than that. And that means I can shape the bowl too, too, there, and then that can be shaped a bit more there. Okay. And here too, it's very bright. In fact, it, you can lose lose the edge. It's so bright there. Let's look. Do leave a message if you if you uh, if you're there. Um, I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> it does help. Uh, let me see if I can put. It doesn't matter what you say. If there's any questions you have, no, do do uh, do ask away. It's it's actually very uh, useful for me to uh, to do that. Also makes me sort of uh, understand what I'm doing myself. You know, so if I, if I have to explain it. Uh, it helps it lodge in my ancient brain as well. So I'm going to add in a few strokes in there, across there, because it's really red. Um, I'm not going to dwell on those. Well, now, I'm going to put in shadows underneath these things, and I think I'm going to do them in a... Let's see what happens if I can do them in ultramarine plus white, plus a little bit of of uh, alizarin crimson. See what happens. This is, so this is the darkest dark, so to speak. There. And I have to do the same thing with the uh, apples here. There. And this one too. Okay. I don't see any other... I um, don't see any other sort of... Uh, dark darks. I think it could go slightly more uh, violet. Let's have a look. And maybe it can come across here as well. So. There. And Now, there are other sort of lights that I need to get in before I can proceed. And they're quite pinkish, pinkish violety, I suppose, again. So, let me add some white to that. For example, one there. I don't want to get in too close to, to these apples. There's some highlights in there. Uh, where else? Highlight there. One there. We've got that one there. There's a secondary highlight in there. Now I need some more, more vivid reds. So alizarin and cadmium red together. 
That's, that means I can sort of put some there. Oh, that 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 def definitely helps there. That one comes across there like that. Um, okay. There is definitely some of that pattern missing off that edge there. Okay. And now let me come along with the bowl there like that. And I need more pattern there as well. Come out there like that. There's more red around that apple. Um, okay. Now there are some dark darks. So I'm going to put them in as a, as a blue and a alizarin mix. For example, in that apple there. Put that there. That's casting a shadow in there. Here needs to be described a bit more. There. Um, there's an apple behind there. There's a dark on that apple behind that one as well. Now, there's another light, light coming across here like that. Mm -hmm. There, like that. Oh, I need a bit of a pink reflected from the surface of the tablecloth, just under there, which is logical, and a bit of a yellow green there, and coming around here. That's all done. I need a dark in that apple there. Now, now I'm going to grab some blue for a start. Not a dark blue, but I'm going to start delineating things, okay? Which is what Peplo was inclined to do. that come around like that I can put in a, a bit of a join there so I'm not really sort of I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of touching and, and, and then sort of I'm not laying down a huge uh, load of paint here I'm just sort of letting it ride across the uh, uh, the top of the of the paint that's already there the apples too, although I might make some of the lines uh, slightly different colours, I suppose. So maybe I could make that a more purpley colour. So that's uh, ultramarine blue, um, alizarin crimson, and a bit of white. There. Do those ones as well. That one can come there like that. You can establish the the uh, the appley shape of your apples now at this stage. Let's put that in there. Come around there. It's just so such a French way of uh, of painting. flooding your your paintings with light and color and the and the shades or the the shadows cool and the, and warms for the uh, for the bits you want to come forward in the light now this is what i loved him do he just 
delineated the flowers. Did old Peplo. There. Now, obviously, I'm not Peplo, and uh, it's kind of uh, a difficult thing to imitate, uh, you know, a painter's work. So it'll only ever be a kind of a an imitation. I love the way he did these kind of uh, jagged shapes to represent the uh, petals of the flowers. And also we've got the flowers up here too. There should be a red in there. That doesn't matter. That's fine up there. Uh, let's put in some highlights, some warm highlights. So white plus cadmium yellow, medium, plus a touch of cadmium red. And lots of white. And let's put in some highlights. Since this thing is all about sort of brightness and sunshine and kind of highlight there. Maybe a couple of highlights into this uh, vase here wouldn't go amiss. That might might be nice. Now I'm going to highlight the um, the green areas too. Let's grab this and They'll do nice with a nice. So that's viridian with a little bit of a uh, little bit of white added, and the same on this side. So that's a cool green, which is kind of what you want in the in the shadows. Oh, and didn't I forget that, uh, that flower head there? Isn't that the same with all of us? We go on, you know, you get the sense that the uh, these characters, the so-called Scottish colourists, went off on a skite to uh, to France and came back, and this is basically they they were affected forever afterwards with a with the joy of of going on a sun holiday now there's some uh, highlights on the edge of the bowl here that would be good oh i need some more um uh, highlights around those apples here so this one here can be like that that in there like that another apple there uh, that needs an edge there and so does that one up there And now I'm going to sort of uh, do some work on the pattern. There is a pattern, uh, an extra sort of dark sort of pattern uh, on that bowl. So I'm just going to kind of put that in, in there like that. I'm not going to sort of overdo the description, but it just needs to have something there. So that comes around there like that. And there are these swirly patterns. 
in there. That comes around there like that. Swirl there, swirl there. Swirl there, up around there, comes around there like that. Funny thing is, is that there isn't a great deal of reflection going on underneath that bowl. Let's have a look. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yes, a darker fuller red just underneath that highlight there. I think that would help there. And then some darker delineations I think in the flowers. Not overly descriptive, just in there like that and there's a darker one in there and across there like that now some what am I going to do yes yeah, so some nice sort of uh, uh, color changes in the background Let's let's see how this will work. Lots of yellow, a bit of green, a bit of white. I think it would help it. Mm. More white, I think. Lots of paint. Something to make the, the thing stand out a bit. Make sure it's garish, like they were accused of, of being. Emphasize those jaggedy parts. Hmm. Uh, do something with the the pink at the bottom too. Grab some white and. Uh, some more of this. I mean, there is a kind of a pattern on 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 that surface. But I don't want to over describe it either. What's the word? The brave and all those primary colours and simple descriptions. Not all simple. I was looking at uh, a book of uh, of the, the colorists and uh, this very fine work in there too. You know, it's uh, beautiful. I'd love to go and, uh, and see some of the originals in real life. I think I might darken some of those uh, those delineations too. Let's have a look. For some reason I don't want to join that one up in there. Uh, 
and a bit of dark under that that apple there. I'm sure they must have painted larger than this. This is about um, A4 in size. It's not terribly big. some more. Fix that. And any sort of apple-y kind of greens in here. So I'm just going to put a few in just because they must be in there. Sometimes it's hard to sort of discern them, but yeah, you kind of put them in anyway. Oh, there's no center to that apple. That's a good one. You never told me, did you? There, where is it? Oh yeah, there. And there's actually a an apple stem there. There's a dark we're missing in that one. And in that one too. And then that means putting something just to go around. It's catching the light there too. And this one doesn't have a, a key line around it. in. Maybe I'll put a stem on that one too. Yeah, that'll do. Push that one around a bit and get a bit of blue. Describe that shadow a little bit. Bring it up. Okay. There, like that. Finish that there, like that. Um, and I might just... Do something with the vase here. And this interaction with that, that apple there. Uh, is there a highlight on that? I suppose there there is. Let me grab some of that highlight colour there. Push that in there. And across the shoulder of the bottle of the vase there. And then there's a little bit more. patterning as well. There. Uh, I want to just knock that um, that background above the flowers back a bit. There. Grab that orange. Just re-establish that. There. And re-establish that. That light blue. There. Actually, and it wouldn't do any harm to have some of that in here. Mm. 
shape that again. Now, I'm just going to do the reveal, I suppose. It doesn't want to be any more finished than that. So let me grab off the tape. Take it off the bottom of the paper. I had to use acrylics, a paper uh, made for acrylics and um, and oils this time because I ran out of my texture canvas paper and um, and this stuff kind of tends to soak away the oil and it's supposed to it says it's to, for oils but it isn't really. What I do like about it though is it's much heavier, thicker paper. Okay, so look, that's the painting there. Let me just uh, change cameras. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah. Oh look at that, it says subscribe. I didn't realise I'd done that. How do I get rid of that? <laughs> um, there we go. Right, let me grab this across. Okay, so that's the, the painting there.